so I just got down to the beach and there's this oddly kind of shiny all black like pitted like hagstone rock. I thought it was like charcoal or something at first but no. Must have been some decent decent waves and, and erosion action the other day to, to surface some of this stuff. I hadn't made it not 30 seconds down onto this part of the beach here and things started popping up. You know, like we got another busted um, sea biscuit here. At some point I'll stop taking all the broken ones, you know, and more so focus on, on the ones that are more complete. Just, you know, due to lack of space, if I am going to be finding this good amount of them, you know, start being a little more particular in, in which ones I, I keep or, or move on with. See, yeah, some of them are, are buried a little bit here. Oh, this. This used to be coral. You can see uh, it's got like little polyp growths on them. Pretty cool. It's basically calcified at that point um, into stone. But cool to see what once was. Yeah, this is a heavily eroded uh, sea biscuit. Pretty cool. And that's always an interesting thing as well as finding some cool wear or aging patterns or you know if other creatures have have latched on and grown their life on top of these shells you'll see some that have you know whole colonies of like barnacles or whatever pretty interesting good size well, like snail shell here. Pretty cool. Yeah, there's more, you know, just pieces of these. That one's pretty much worn flat. There's a chunk here. You can see the patterning on it. A couple right there. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. And you never know what you're gonna get, you know, if you could come here every day and never find the same stuff so it's, it's kind of what I've referred to as like the, uh, the the retiree or adult version of Pokemon Go you know doing shiny hunting or, or whatever uh, that one's very smooth oddly There's, yeah, there's chunks everywhere of these things. Um, I may just keep this one because it's so smooth, but normally I wouldn't be keeping a heavily broken piece like that. As I say that, you know, I keep collecting them, but hey, whatever. It's, it's, I guess it's a healthy collection hobby, so... shocking when you find the ones that are still pretty intact um, just knowing what they've gone through for millions of years it's cool all the reflections on the, the sand here Had to use my other phone to take a picture. <laughs> Gotta have them both going at the same time. You 
Yeah, I don't know if there's going to be so much right here as I don't want to step on one. Uh, seems like they've been pushed a little more inland, but there may be you know, a couple stragglers out here. Stop one. Worn flat too, that was kind of cool. The olive as well, almost intact. Yeah, look at this. Oh, this one I'm running away. Just got a hole in the top. I will keep looking for a little bit and come back again if I find anything, anything more crazy or interesting.